Hi guys, this is Jeff from Excel with Gray Sports Specific Yoga. What I'm going to share with you today is a short sequence that I like to do after a run or a hike. Now, what I decided to do today is bring this to you from the top of the Chief in Squamish, BC. It's a hike I did this morning with my dog. And uh, yeah, if you're ever in the area, you need to experience it. So, start in mountain pose. Basically perfect posture. Feet hip distance apart, pointed straight forward. Knees pointed straight forward. Hips in neutral. Core slightly engaged. Shoulders back and down. Neck long. Gonna inhale, bring the arms up and out. Exhale, fold forward at the hips. Bend into your knees enough that the upper body is coming close to the thighs. And then just relax into the hamstrings for about two breaths. Now, we're gonna come into the area in and around the IT band. So on an inhale, bend into both knees. Exhale, bring your left leg towards straight, right knee bent. Now, you should feel more intensity in the side of the left leg, possibly into the calf, or possibly just into the hamstring. If you don't feel any sensation or intensity at all, you can bring the left foot behind the right, just crossing back behind you. I'm gonna bring my feet hip distance apart. On your next inhale, bend into both knees. Exhale, bring the right leg towards straight, left knee bent. One thing that I really encourage you to do here is notice the difference between the two sides of the body. Inhale, bend into both knees. Exhale, then inhale, bring your left leg back into a lunge. Drop the back knee down, bring the left hand out wide. Inhale, bring your left heel towards your seat, bending in the knee, and then coming around, holding on to that back foot. Kick your back foot into your hand, so you're stretching through your quad. Now, if you don't have great range of motion in, in through your knee, you can always use a strap to wrap around your foot. On an exhale, drop your back foot down. Inhale, bring the back knee up. Heel toe your right foot out to the side. Have your hands on the inside of that right foot. Turn the foot to a 45 degree angle. Exhale, really open up, externally rotate through the right hip. Now you can place your hand on the right thigh and gently encourage that hip to open up a little bit more. And on an exhale, you can twist your gaze over to the left and keep encouraging that hip to open more with the right hand. Just taking one more breath. Inhale, bring your foot back into center, hands on either side of the front foot. Then your next inhale, come back up to a forward fold. And pedal through the knees one more time. Inhale, bend into both knees. Exhale, left leg comes towards straight, right knee bent. Inhale, bend into both knees. Exhale, switch. Inhale, bend into both knees. Exhale, and then inhale, bring the right foot back here, coming into a lunge. Drop the back knee down, right hand out wide. Inhale, bend the right knee, heel toward your seat. Come around, hold on to that right foot. Once again, you can always use a strap if you're having trouble reaching that foot. Open up through the chest and the shoulder a little bit, really kicking the foot back into the hand, getting into the quad. One more breath. On your exhale, Allow the back foot to come down, tuck the toes under. Inhale, bring the back knee up. Heel toe, your left foot out wide. Turn the left foot to a 45 degree angle, and then allow the knee, or allow the hip, sorry, to externally rotate. Place your left hand on your left thigh, and just gently encourage the hip to open up a little bit more. At this point, you can turn the gaze over to the right. Once again, notice the difference between the two sides of the body and breathe. The next inhale, bring the hand off of the thigh, heel toe, the foot back to center, hands on either side of that front foot. Inhale, back foot meets front into a forward fold. And then just over two or three breaths, slowly rolling back up to standing. So that's the end of the sequence. Really love it because it gets into the hamstrings, it gets into the quads, 
and then it gets into the hips. So really it kind of hits the majority of what you're using when you're running or hiking. So I hope that you enjoyed that and I hope you enjoyed the environment as much as I am. <laughs>